When you hear the name Shia LaBeouf, what's the first thing that comes to mind? You might think of that one kid on the show on Disney Channel that you used to tune into every weekend. Perhaps he shows up in fragmented memories of watching holes on the old TV you had when you were a kid. Maybe he's the guy in Transformers that yells a lot, or the sidekick in the Indiana Jones movie you don't like. But if you ask most people what they know Shia LaBeouf for, they probably won't say any of these things. Shia LaBeouf, taken out of a Broadway theater in handcuffs after the after 27-year-old To say that Shia LaBeouf had a turbulent career would be an understatement. After his arrest in 2017, he had pretty much tanked his acting career. We treat Shia almost like a mythic figure, waiting for his next crazy action that will send shockwaves across the internet. Remember when he livestreamed himself watching all of his movies over the course of three days? Sure, it might have been a silly experiment, but I think it reveals something so genuine about what kind of person he is. I I'm trying to be very transparent with my stuff, you know, so basically what you got there is you got a dude looking at a yearbook of his life with the, with the village, you know, with the, with, the, with the community. Shai comes from a place of honesty where he tries to find the artistry in everything he does. He has this immediacy to him that's so palpable, and you can really see this unfiltered humanity in the way he expresses himself. I look at this stuff um, just like my, my film work. Empathy is required. And so working on either is like doing empathy push-ups. And then when you go to the other, you feel like you've been working out uh, that, that muscle. Because empathy is a muscle, and if you don't work it, it atrophies. If you take a closer look, you can see a broken person who's just trying to make sense of everything. And I think that's where Shia's autobiographical film, Honey Boy, begins. In the opening scene, we meet Otis, a young actor struggling to keep his life in check. This sequence blurs the lines between cinema and reality on two levels. The first takes place within the film, as scenes from Otis's acting career are interwoven with the turmoil of his actual life. The second level takes place in our minds as the audience, watching this film while we can't help but envision Shia as the main character. What am I being arrested for? What am I being arrested for, huh? You arrest me for what? Most of us who seek out this film know beforehand that Shia wrote the script and heavily based it on his own experiences. Honey Boy is so brilliant because it begins with the same preconceived notions that we have about Shia. The explosion into stardom, the alcohol, the arrest, all just fragments of a broader story. The film is structured in a way where we see all this pain first, and have to wind back the clock to figure out how we got there. If this sounds a little like a therapy session so far, that's because it is. Shai wrote the screenplay for Honey Boy while in court-ordered rehab, and it initially wasn't meant for anyone but himself. He wrote it as a part of his exposure therapy, so the script is full of unflinching honesty that gives us a look into his true story, and not the one that we might perceive from the outside. Yeah, because everybody tells a story to themselves about themselves, constantly, you know? And then at some point you have to kind of examine what that story is. As an artist, Shy is someone who puts everything into his work. I manipulate my life in order to feel things for real on camera. Anything I'm in control of is never for real. It's never going to be real. I'm in control of it. So I actually have to twist my life up to the point where there's no, nowhere else to go. I can't feel another kind of way. Honey Boy almost becomes an exercise in what it means to be an artist, an actor who takes the pain from their own life and transforms it into something beautiful. How much of this is a performance and how much is real? Are you acting right now? You know, we all are, all the time. Are you being sincere right now, or are you mocking me? Both. Where do we draw the line between an artist's life and their performance? What's the difference? These are all questions that we don't have the answers to. But by raising these questions, Honey Boy becomes a piece of art where the act of creating it was just as important as the finished product. If we could take this script, but if he could play his father, that it would be probably one of the most ultimate exercises of empathy that one can achieve. Even the crew was an amalgamation of people from Shia's career, from the producer of Even Stevens, to the visual effects artists on Transformers. All these people from his life came together to help him tell a story that's so deeply personal. You know, and it was a strange thing where I had found this craft that's treated me better than anyone in anything in my life and been the most consistent relationship I've ever had with anything. And now I'm standing in the face of a man who really, the only legacy he ever gave me was this story. He never bestowed me with any like physical objects, 
but we had this this story together. You know, stone crumbles, people fucking die. That's the real world. The only thing that's gonna live on is stories, fables, dreams. The best part is that through his craft and through his personal story, he was able to reconcile the pain inside of him. And in order for me to go do this thing, me, the, the way in was through. And, and so it forced me to connect with my father even above and, and beyond my own feelings about the entire thing. Those actions that once made you feel completely ashamed and totally discouraged will allow you to share with other people how to be a useful human being. The empathy for your dad, as well as wrestling with the, the opposite of that. Yes. You know? And that like, did that, like going into him, mm -hmm. did that create healing? Yes. For yes. him? Yes. So compassion? Yes. Looking through his eyes? Yes. Yes. Because the movie, I feel, is kind of does that. My experience of it is like, look at your, the darkness, you know, and yes. then go into it. Yes. Honey Boy doesn't give us a lot of specific answers, but rather gives us a look into someone trying to make sense of their life with honesty and compassion. Probably best. For that kid. But I'm in pain like a motherfucker, man. You know? Shai put his entire life into this project when he knew it would mean diving headfirst into the most painful part of his past. To be this close to the flame and be able to survive it and come out the other side and not have completely, you know, tanked my whole fucking life to get through it. Near the end of the film, his father says that a seed has to completely destroy itself to become a flower. When I see Honey Boy, I see Shia taking the broken pieces of his troubled past and forging for himself a new path of forgiveness. But also what can come out of forgiveness and of finding your voice or doing something creative that um, helps you tell your story. And I think we all know that when people tell their stories and get to speak up about the things that happened to them, they're not the only ones that benefit from that freedom and that liberation, but everybody that hears it that has been through something similar can kind of get touched by that. I think if you can empathize with the biggest villain in your life and sort of scrape some of these shadows and it makes you lighter and freer. I don't think I was leading with love and my life has changed. Forgiveness isn't about excusing the harm that someone has done to you or letting go of that pain. It's about learning how to live with it and finding some sort of peace. If Shahai could do this with his father and share his journey through a piece of art, I think it's time we give him another chance too. I ain't trying to change the world or I'm just trying to get my little piece right, that's it.